An 80 year old man accused of running his car into a Macon bar appeared in court today and now faces a new charge. Chelsea Vimefor was inside the courtroom. She joins us live from outside 20s Pub and Sub on Riverside Drive where it all happened. Yeah, Frank and Lori, the pub is actually open today and in the last couple of minutes, crews have started taking these boards off the front windows and clearing out some of the debris that's still left inside from last night's crash. Now today, we also learned the man that's reportedly responsible for all of this is now facing a DUI charge. Good afternoon, Mr. Goodwin. How are you, sir? Well. Monday afternoon, 80 year old Billy Goodwin appeared in Bibb County Magistrate Court less than 24 hours after allegedly running his truck into the front of a Macon bar. He had been charged with one count of driving under the influence, six counts of aggravated assault, and one count of criminal damage to property in the first degree. Police say Goodwin got into an argument with another customer at 20's Pub and Sub on Saturday night, but left peacefully. He returned Sunday night, but instead of walking through the front doors, he drove through them at least twice. Investigators say customers were inside when Goodwin crashed through the front of the pub and at least two people were injured. One man got pinned between the table and the wall. As cleanup continued Monday morning, the pub owner said he recognized Goodwin, telling me the man occasionally came into the bar for a few glasses of wine. Back in court, the magistrate judge did not set bond for Goodwin on Monday or explain why, so he remains in the Bibb County Jail. They told me at the front desk that I can put up a real estate uh, bond and pay $40 today and be gone by 3 o'clock. That would be the judge, yeah, I know that. that's, that's not correct. Now, as we said, this pub is still open today, but the owner says they aren't operating at full capacity since about half of their dining room is destroyed. For now, reporting live in Macon, Chelsea Byam for 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Chelsea. Goodwin's case resumes tomorrow at 1.30 in the Bibb County Magistrate Court.